it's a terrible February afternoon and, and I've got uh, Ben over from Belgium uh, help me with some cool stalking. Um, <laughs> anybody with any sense of it still in the house but uh, anyway we're out anyway so we're, hopefully we're going to see something so we're going to stalk along with some field edges and get ourselves up a decent seat looking into an area where hopefully the deer are going to come out onto a feeder later on. Uh, it's about three o'clock and then it's dark normally about half five quarter to six but tonight with the weather as bad as it is um, it'll probably be dark a little bit earlier. Can't believe how green it is. Yeah, it's incredible. The weather, considering it's February, uh, everything's regrowing. There's flowers out. Ridiculous. This early on. No problem, no problem. It's a good one, it's a good shot, it's a good shot, it's a good shot, it's a good shot. Wow. Well, we just snuck into this wood and uh, we saw a big group of fallow deer yesterday up here and uh, I brought Ben, who's over from Belgium, down to try and uh, pick up on some uh, fallow does and young and uh, We've literally just snuck into the city, been here two minutes and we spotted this huge fallow buck and it is really, really limping badly. Um, we don't know why he's limping or whatever, but uh, anyway, I made the decision to take him. Uh, we haven't shot uh, any big fallow bucks this year, really. Um, so uh, it's uh, beginning of February and I get quite a few bucks moved back onto us, so it'll probably be from a, uh, a road traffic accident. Um, but uh, well done, Ben. <laughs> Grinning like a Cheshire cat. Um, yeah, we just stalked these fields for about half an hour till it broke light. There's been pheasants going everywhere and then just spotted him out. Um, even though he's hobbling really badly, he was still smashing my tree, my tree tubes up on this plantation. So uh, we're going to go over and have a look. Oh, what a pork. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. Oh, congratulations. What an absolute cracker. Just look at the size of him. Truly wild. This is not a parky. Truly wild, mature fallow book from, uh, from the Chilterns. Um, absolutely beautiful trophy. Beautiful palmation, quite equal. And these huge spellers, these fingers on the top here. All thick, nice and equal. Lovely brow tines. Absolutely fantastic book. Well done, my friend.
Well done. How was that? How do you feel about that? Just great. <laughs> <laughs> so the story is we stalked down the edge of the wood uh, looking on this plantation. Uh, we couldn't see anything initially, so we bobbed up the seat. Uh, up the seat, literally 10 minutes, that's all. And uh, we spotted him out amongst the, the tree tubes. And um, he, was, he looked like he was actually marking the territory. Uh, I mean, this is the beginning of February. Absolute monster. I would never shoot this kind of book normally here. Uh, big master book, 10 years old. And um, the reason we shot him was he was hobbling really, really badly. And um, if you just lift his foot up, it's his uh, front left, I think, Ben. Let's have a look at that foot. No, front right, look. Look at his foot there. Oh, it's completely, complete callous. He could hardly put his foot down on it. That was not going to get any better. And in the end, he'd just end up crippled, losing weight and dying really slowly.